exactly linked to autoimmune disease? I mean, how does that, how are they related? So we can picture that cell membrane, that uh, carpet again, and uh, picture all kinds of material flowing from our foods uh, that we're eating into the immune system exposure. At some point in that presentation, you know, in a, a typical day we may be exposed to hundreds of thousands or millions of potential uh, items from our food that shouldn't be in the bloodstream. So our immune system is attacking. So we're in this food fight <laughs> state, and in the process the, the immune system is making antibodies. Antibodies are our little magical identifiers to foreign material. And uh, they tie on to very specific foreign material and uh, create some cellular memory as to what's foreign and needs to be attacked and what's us. If you think of that leaky system day in and day out in the human being, it's mathematically inevitable that at some point there's going to be a cross-reaction between a foreign uh, piece of material and your body. And this is exactly what happens with something like thyroid disease or celiac disease. Uh, we used to think maybe viruses and things like that more, but increasingly we're understanding that's probably something in our food that we're eating, which could be something organic like an in, uh, insoluble fiber, or it could be something inorganic like a pesticide or plastics or all the things that are in our food chain, is attacked by an antibody that then reacts with our thyroid gland or reacts with our intestinal lining or reacts with our pancreas for type 1 diabetes, etc. And so mathematically we're just building this almost inevitable state that at some point we're going to create cross-reactivity. Western medicine has delineated that there does seem to be some sort of genetic predisposition to this autoimmune event. And so it does tend to travel in families, but what we see within those families is if we change the environment of the individuals within the family, we can reduce the, the incidence of that autoimmune disease. And so it is something environmental that we're being exposed to that will suddenly trigger these autoimmune cross-reactions.